Okay, so just a quick review of how to change a recurring decimal into a fraction in its simplest form. So again, we're to careful the simplest form. So the classic way of doing this is to let x equal the recurring decimal, and then the aim is to get the 0.5 recurring next to the decimal point to the right of it in two equations, so that we can do a subtraction, and then that will cancel out. So the classic way is to go through doing 10x's, 100x's, 1000x's, and in that way we'll keep moving the decimal up place values until we get the two equations with the recurring part straight after the decimal point. So we can see that when we did 10x's and 100x's we got what we wanted. So we're going to do 100x, subtract the 10x answer, so we've got 25.5 recurring, subtract 2.5 recurring, well this subtract this means that that's gone so we've got 25 take away 2 is 23 and 100x take away 10x is 90x so we've got 90x is worth 23 we want to know the fraction that's equivalent to the decimal well we let the, fra uh, the x stand for the decimal so we can change this into 23 divide by the 90 to leave x on its own so we now know that these two are equal to each other the decimal was x, the fraction is x so we've got to be careful here though because the question said as a fraction in its simplest form so we look at these two numbers and we ask ourselves will it cancel down well 23 is a prime number so 90 would have to be in the 23 times table which it isn't so our final answer will be 23 over 90